you know, I went to law school because I wanted to solve real problems, right? I think it's, I think um, being a lawyer is a calling. And I do think we want our attorneys waking up every single day, being on a mission to solve their clients' problems. We have Drew Armstrong, the CEO of Affinipay, uh, also known as LawPay, as we all refer to it, the number one payment processor in the uh, United States for law firm owners. Um, which we're super, super excited to learn from her wisdom today uh, on the legal industry. Drew, thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks, Bill. I am super excited to be here and your new office looks great. Oh. So I want to transition and, and just start asking you some questions because you're, you're kind of in a different uh, slice of the legal vertical. And it's not often that we get to interview people who are serving lawyers, but maybe in a different niche. And you you know, being CEO of the largest payment processing company for law firm owners. My question to you first is, uh, I want you to talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, how did you get into the business of payment processing? Uh, and then second, we'll transition into how do we apply the lessons you've learned in a business that does software as a service? And how can we apply that to service-based businesses? Yeah, that's a great question. So first of all, um, you know, I started off thinking that I was going to be an attorney. My dad ran a small law firm. Um, he had been a federal prosecutor and he had taught at UCLA Law School. And then he ended up building his own law firm. And so I grew up in a family of lawyers, went to law school, um, thought I was going to be also a federal prosecutor and then ended up falling in love with business. Um, and so for me, it feels very much like a return to home. And I think one of the things that really excited me about law pay was the fact that, you know, it's probably one of the first legal tech pieces of technology that our clients put in place. Um, we have 50,000 law firms today who've chosen law pay. We've been in business for 15 years, ser serving legal for over a decade. And so I got involved, um, you know, because I started having conversations with Amy Porter, the founder of LawPay. And, you know, we just looked at this amazing track record that the business had of serving lawyers, understanding lawyers. I think hopefully anyone on this um you know, who, who listens to you is understands and agrees the idea that the way a law firm and a lawyer wants to operate their business is fundamentally different than pretty much any other industry, right? And so the better that we understand that, the better we can help solve real business needs and frankly, give lawyers time back to serve their clients, right? Because that's first and foremost why someone becomes an attorney. And so just looking at this business, you know, for a decade, we've really solved the core problem of how lawyers get paid. Um, it's the first piece of technology folks put in place. Um, and it's really allowed our clients to, as, as the world has gone digital, especially through the pandemic, um, to have a better way to work with their clients as it comes to them paying their bills. What excited me, though, honestly, was the ability to start looking more broadly at what other key problems can we solve for our clients, right? We've earned the trust. Um, we already have an installed software platform. You know, when you look at some of the data, and I think Thomson Reuters did a really fantastic 2020 state of the small law firm, a lot of the same pain points exist that existed when my dad was in practice, you know, north of 20 years ago. Um, and, you know, it's, one, we spend too much time administering a business, our business. It's really hard to get new customers because we're so busy serving our clients. Even for the, the invoices that go out, we only collect like 75% of, of what we actually bill. And so when you look at that, there's almost 50% of time that lawyers could be getting credit for, could be dedicating to clients, could be getting paid for that they aren't, right? And so when I looked at this opportunity, I was like, wow, it just feels like with the trust that we've built and the way we've we've kind of earned the right, you know, there are probably some other things that we can do to help our our clients, frankly, grow their business. Um, do you want me to pause there? I can tell you a little bit about the work that I did because I feel like it's super relevant. Um, to yeah, keep going. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, and I love yeah. that you're tying this into the the evergreen recurring pain points that law firm owners have, which uh, which don't really change over time. 
Yeah, no, they don't. And I think that's honestly what's so exciting about software is it kind of gives us an opportunity, software, data. um, It's all these ways for us to start cracking some of these really hard problems. And, you know, I just came out of serving the real estate space, um, multifamily property management in particular. And what was really striking to me, it was, um, you know, they had these reoccurring pain points around how to get the best out of their team. They had high turnover. They had significant legal risk associated with that around the fair housing laws, other employment laws. And we said, you know, we started off just being a pure play training platform, but what if we became a people performance platform? And so just by virtue of really understanding our clients and being able to bring together disparate solutions and make them talk to each other and make them smarter, make them more automated, we were able to really transform how our clients and how the industry thought about talent. Um, And so, you know, that was a, that was a journey we walked through over three years at, at Grace Hill. And I feel like with the you know, it's a very similar story. We've really cracked the nut around payments and look, that's our core today. We actually have a really exciting new announcement coming later this month because we really believe in lawyers being able to put in the hands of their clients different options in terms of how they want to pay, when they want to pay. Um, And so we absolutely need to keep pace with that. But more fundamentally, what really excites me and excites our team and Amy, our founder, is the opportunity to transform how lawyers do business, how they grow their business, and really take a more innovative approach to tying those those pieces together. You know, I would love for our clients looking back three years or five years from now to say, you know, I got hours back in my day that otherwise were wasted on administrative activities. Activities. I got, you know, higher collection rates on bills because I've earned those fees, right? There are some of these fundamentals that I think if we take a fresh perspective, we can really um, support our clients and solve some of these core pain points. I love that. I love that. Um, and I love, I love the bigger mission that you're on. I think one thing everyone listening here, uh, for, for someone running such a successful company doing, you know, almost $100 million a year, like the one you're running, uh, yeah. is how mission driven you are. And I just want everyone to take a quick moment and listen to how Drew is talking about the big picture and the mission attached to what she does and how passionate she is. Couldn't we all learn a little bit about becoming more passionate and mission driven in what we do? Um, a question just, that I have, a, go ahead. Just a comment on that. Look, I love that you emphasize that because you know I think we've had a mission for the past 15 years, which was how professionals got paid. You know, I've challenged the team from day one since I joined you know, let's dream bigger, right? Our clients, they wake up every day. You know, I went to law school because I wanted to solve real problems, right? I think it's, I think um, being a lawyer is a calling. And I do think we want our attorneys waking up every single day, being on a mission to solve their clients' problems, whether it's on the order of magnitude of Sam's business, you know, 100 million in revenue, phenomenal, or it's everywhere down to the solo practitioner, the government attorney, whatever it is, you know, our mission is to help you guys grow your business. You know, that's what we we eat, sleep, drink, think about all the time is how do you have more hours in your day? How do you get credit for the work that you do? Um, and to me, that's really, really exciting because it gives us such a big picture. And if you put the customer at the heart of what you do, you know, it, it takes out all the noise in the business and it really lets you kind of serve them to the highest level, develop products at the highest level, et cetera. So sorry, I, c- I could talk about that all day. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love the passion. Uh, So I want to actually ask you, you know, you guys process $13 billion in payments every year. Uh, You guys are going through the process right now of doubling your business. My question to you um, is, what are the realities of doubling a business's revenues? You're going through it right now with LawPay, and you've done it before with uh, Grace Hill, one of your prior companies. So my question is like, what are some of the common denominators that need to be in place, regardless of industry, regardless of what vertical or practice area business is in, that you see happen since you've done this multiple times when a company's revenues double? Yeah, I mean, look, I think, um, 
you know, first and foremost, I think there's a great Ben Horowitz quote, and I will totally botch it. So I apologize in advance, but it's, you take care of the people, the products, and then the profits will follow in essence, right? And so first and foremost, it has to be about the people. And I think one of the things that I feel so fortunate um, in joining this amazing company is really the team. You know, it's very much a culture and mission-driven, values-driven company where, you know, every single week, the next call I have is our weekly all hands, we do a value shout out, right? And we're constantly thinking about our values, making sure team members that join fit our values, make sure that we're living our values. Um, you know, it's it's just a super core part of who we are. And so I think one of the things that um, I've found in business is when, you, when I first started, I thought it was a lot about spreadsheets and kind of solving you know, the core strategic questions when in reality, it's the soft stuff that's the hard stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, my, um, the, the kind of three jobs of a CEO, if you boil it down and we can do more things than that, but number one, it's the right team, you know, hiring the right team, retaining the right team, getting them motivated, you know, number two, it's creating a strategy and then communicating that strategy out all to the, the different stakeholders, right? For me, it's obviously our core team, our executive team, our clients, our board. Um, and then number three is always thinking about the core financial well-being of the business, the core drivers of the financial well-being, you know, looking far enough ahead to make sure that you're headed in the right direction. And so, you know, my my experience in doubling a business is the more that you can really solve for the first two, the third takes care of itself. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think, um, you know, when I look at, at, at the Affinipay team, I mean, there's definitely some new roles that we're going to create. There's going to be areas that we're going to invest because as you get bigger and especially as we kind of expand our mandate, um, frankly, we have the opportunity to invest. But at the core of it, it's really retaining and, and maintaining that core culture and bringing everyone along um, in the process of forming the strategy in such a way that they're able to then really understand why. Right. It's kind of the what's the one thing that you want every person, no matter if you're a four person law firm or you're a 250 person software company up to a thousand, you know, what's the one thing you want them thinking of? Right. And I think that's back to the point I was making before. The more that we can put the voice of our customers at the center, our attorneys at the center of our conversation, right. And we approach it with those values. Those are the lens by which we make decisions. Um, you know, yes, let's figure out, figure it out. That's one of our core values, right? We're always trying to figure out, you know, make it count is another core value. Everything we do needs to kind of add up to making that customer more satisfied to them being able to grow their business. Um, and so I would say that uh, we often talk about growth or hyper growth companies as if they are materially different than other co companies. And I think the reality is they aren't. I think what makes it different, though, is the pace at which you have to move, right? And so, you know, I think probably what you can hear from me, which my team would tell you as well, is um, complacency is never part of my DNA. And I always feel like disrupt or be disrupted, right? Um, you know, uh, like a shark that doesn't move is dead, basically. There's some, some saying around that. And so... You know, I'm a big fan of if I'm doing my job right, I'm looking three years out, I'm looking five years out. Um, we obviously have to execute every single day and have that drive. But you also, you know, I, I tell Amy Porter, our unbelievable founder, just so passionate, so mission driven, built this company from the ground up, you know, solo founder, just what a phenomenal success story. And I tell her, you've planted all these amazing groves of trees that are bearing fruit. I'm thinking about what are we going to plant next, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, of course, I get some of the credit for all the good work that the team has done. And I get that halo effect, which I'm appreciative of. And it gives us the opportunity and the right to do this new chapter. But on the flip side, I'm very excited about what we can do next, Right. I'm very excited about what other problems we can solve so that when we look back in a couple of years, you know, hopefully our clients will be blown away and will be somewhat surprised, but it will also feel intuitive to them where we ended up.